coffee and tools, the Red Bull. Take one. Hey, glad you could stop by for a minute. Uh, this would be episode, I guess we'll call this episode 28. It's all about the Red Bull this week and not the drink either. Pulling the nail. It's really over the time it has really changed and technology has really changed. Fact is this morning I was looking around for a block of wood with a nail in it so we could pull one in front of you. And it was really odd. I basically, uh, just using these, uh, the wood screws and all the little dock type screws and things for fastening these days, I actually just don't really have, per se, a really good nail laying around anymore. It's, it's almost like technology has just driven the nails away. And I have to admit, screws are a good idea. They can be removed and reused. If you build something and you say you want to change it, you can take the screws out, relocate, unless you use uh, wood glue, like a woodworker would like me. But uh, other than that, generally, you could just reuse the screws over and over again many times. And so a project might, you know, be put together and later on you say, you know, I want to change this or move something. And you can take the screws out and do it over again. With the nails, it was quarter, it was really messy. And I guess that's part of what this deal is here. The um, thing I wanted to really show off today because uh, this is going to be uh, not going to be here pretty soon. Uh, is this guy here, and this is called the Red Bull, and it was actually named uh, the Red Bull. It's a really heavy old nail puller, and they're really hard to uh, find. They're, it's incredible that uh, this kind of technology laid around for a long time, and a lot of people didn't know how to use them. Now, I'm going to just sort of give you a demonstration, I guess, as to how this thing would work. But you have this little latch at the bottom here. And you'd open these jaws up and get on each side with the jaw on each side of the nail head. And then once you were at that point, this is cast iron. It's really heavy. So you'd actually raise this piece up like this and drop it really hard like a hammer. And you would drive the two uh, jaws down underneath the, into the wood and down underneath the head of the nail. And what would happen is that would get really, really tight. Now, as you pulled back this way, this locks the jaws together because of this latch or well, this arm here. And then at that point, now you need to torque. So you'd raise this again, but now you'd use this as a pulling means and you'd have this incredible amount of uh, torque to pull a nail out of. And it was called the Red Bull. Uh, very popular as a nail puller. Uh, if you go to a lumber store these days and ask for a nail puller, they'll probably sort of scratch some heads and they'll try to hand you all kinds of strange tools. A lot of people don't uh, know, unless they're old timers or old school, know what the Red Bull was all about. But she was a pretty heavy duty industrial nail puller in her time. Uh, this one here is a flat bar. Uh, and it's a nail puller sort of, but it's really not. It doesn't have the kind of power you need unless you're pulling a very small nail. So they were never really a great tool that way. And I have kept one around. The other one I wanted to show you today and I can't find mine, it's a uh, cat's paw. Cat's paw is sort of like this, but uh, the end of it is more like uh, cupped. And, get, and of course, that's where the name sort of came from with the cat's paw. It also has, an, uh, usually they have an angle at the other end, same thing. And these ones here were, were really sort of poor because you'd put them down like this and kind of drive them with a hammer up underneath, again, into the wood, down up underneath the nail, and try to pull the nail. And because of the leverage and the flatness of it, it was kind of springy. And a lot of times you'd pull back on this, suddenly the nail would let go, you'd go flying. So not necessarily the best tool probably, but uh, they, um, they're they pretty weak, really don't care much for that one. This one here I bought uh, last year for a big job. I had to pull three and a half inch ring shank nails from a, an old deck and flip all the boards to renew the deck. And I discovered this one here. I found it out at one of these tractor supply type places. And it was only like $7. So it was like, man, what I thought 
this can't possibly work. About 3,000 nails later, I said, you know, this is a pretty impressive little tool. I did take it to the grinder and redo the edge here a little bit. And this was a situation too where you get into the, uh, like pressure treated lumber, you drive these in in front of the nail till you get this V up underneath the head of the nail. Now once you got back, I found the easiest and safest method was to leave it like that and just jump on it with your foot kind of thing. Uh, at some point you might break the tool, but heck, I'd rather break the tool than get hurt flying around with my hands hitting something or like that. So it's actually a really good one. But, uh, I know I said the cat's paw would have been the other one. But this, my, uh, this particular episode uh, for tools, for coffee and tools, I just wanted to show off uh, a really classy old machine here called the Red Bull. And it is every part the bull. <laughs> hey, thanks for stopping by. Maybe hopefully we'll see you next week.